All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of uh, HO Scale Trains on the New City Line. Now, this episode is going to be a little different because it involves some track work. I'm not operating tonight. Instead, I am making some upgrades. If you've seen this crossing before, you may have noticed that it lacked cross bucks. Many of the crossings on this layout have not had cross bucks yet added. And anyone that knows anything about trains knows that at a railroad crossing that's active, you, you have to have cross bucks at the very least. So. I went, uh, I went on eBay and I purchased some handmade crossbucks. As you can see, I have already installed one. So we are now going to install the other one at this crossing. And before I begin, I would like to direct your attention to the fabulous man who made these crossings. This is his card. He is out in the state of Oregon. And apparently, he says that these HO scale crossbucks he made are supposed to be reminiscent of the steam era. And one telltale sign is that, as you know, crossbucks are in the shape of an X. But uh, from what I've seen, by and large, cross bucks from the steam era tend to be a little bit more closed on the sides. Like it's more of a flat X rather than a perfect X with uh, all the angles at 90 degrees. So uh, yeah, if you have any model train needs, he does HO scale, N scale, S scale, and O scale. So here we go, and I need to remind you that uh, please do not try this at home. So we're going to use this tool right here. This is extraordinarily sharp. Wouldn't want to have any accidents, so we need to make a little hole in the ground here. And then we stick it right in. So here we go. What we want to do, let's see, right about, I'm going to move this car out of the way. I would be thinking right about uh, here, actually. you got to find a, a good spot, though, because the. All right, so what we do. Get this in there. Give it some hangs. Uh, twist it around. And let's see if it. Oh, hold on. Where did I even start? Because I know ah, that's it. That's the hole. <laughs> Had to find it. Awesome. Now I might go back over that with just a wee bit of glue to make sure that it stays in place. Actually, I think we'll do that right now. super tacky glue and what's great is that it dries clear so uh, if you got some excess glue it doesn't show so now give it a good shake and what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little speck right about here and uh, yep you don't need much so we'll do that, and then we'll just take 
And what we'll do, is we'll, we'll hold this down, right? And we'll get some of the glue right around there. Yeah, we want that to dry. Right around the base there, give it a little, little hold. MJ-1, the local out of Midfield Junction Yard, bound for the feed mill with four grain cars. They will soon be approaching the Clayton Crossing. The engineer will have to step out and flag the crossing. Now this is a crossing I've featured many times before on my channel, the Clayton Crossing. And if you notice something different, as in two cross bucks, I installed them over Christmas. I really don't know why I ever thought about doing it as late as I did. Clearly this crossing, as well as several others on the layout, have needed cross bucks and I finally decided to purchase some and install them myself. And so, this is one of the crossings. All right, we have an XCSX-8 leading the pack. It was purchased by Pan Am and they have yet to repaint it. Engineer steps out of the cab and proceeds to stop traffic. All right. All right. It's a slow day on the new city line. Only a handful of uh, freight trains and passenger trains. We have MJ-1 approaching the crossing at Langenheim Notch, making its way towards Amerigas with one propane car. Mm -hmm. 
The engineer will have to get out and flag this crossing. MJ-1 approaching Red Bear Crossing. All right, MJNC on the move. The train from Midfield Junction to New City. It's a slow one today, folks. Got a double header for you. Now we view the train from the top of Great Falls Bridge. Down below in the foreground is Great Falls Gorge. Look at that spectacular view as the train approaches way off in the distance. <laughs> 